Okay, we're recording. Okay. okay, do you want to go first or shall I go in first? You go first. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I'll get anything, so I'll see what okay. there. Know that it's harder to ask the questions than it is to go in, so you've chosen <laughs> to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I was biting my nails for two hours there. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm going in. This will take just a moment. Okay, I'm in. What are you becoming aware of? ribbons the whole field is like a ribbon in the wind so i'm just going to sit in the sensation for a moment and see where it goes. Okay, I'm getting an interesting sort of geometry. And I could describe the geometry, but instead I'm going to say that it is now appearing as a craft an angular shaped craft i think i'm being invited in question What kind of beings have made contact? At the moment, there is just a connection with the craft. Is this craft near Earth in our space? I'm feeling like the craft is a model of a craft. Can you get who's showing you the model? One moment. This is taking my attention into another space. I'm in a high rise building. There is the feeling or sensation of being both ground level in this structure as well as somewhat high up toward the top. Is the structure familiar? 
the area that it exists in is quite familiar. This feels like Las Vegas. Do you feel any more presences around with you? Yes. Can you describe? There are children. There is a female and male presence nearby. They do not feel directly connected with the craft, the model of the craft. I am being shown, but they are in this space. Do they wish to communicate anything to you? They do not seem to be aware of my presence here. The young boy is at the water fountain getting a drink. The others are engaged in mild activity, biding time. There are colors. There is an off-white rounds and grays and a light shade of blue. Nothing bright or eye-catching, mundane, boring. Do you have any sense of a time frame? 1998, 1999. Can you make any more observations of who you are? Only that I do not wholly enjoy the energy or the environment and that there is some resistance in entering it. I would rather go back to the geometry and the craft. Yeah, just retreat, retreat back to the geometry.
It was an interesting sensation at first. As though from two points, somewhat close together, We're jumping in and back out. Question. Do you feel that there's a particular message to come from that? Can you feel what was to be conveyed? The craft was to be conveyed. Yeah. So is this a triangular model? It does appear I am much larger in size than the craft I am viewing, which lends the idea of this being a model I am looking at. Shall we ask if the model has been developed? Yeah, we'll see where it's going. This model is being developed. By the military. That's what I thought with the F location you got something developed by humans. Developed by humans with the assistance of extraterrestrial technology that fell to the earth. Can you pick up <clears throat> what race attached to that craft would be? The first thing I am aware of, one moment. Is one aspect or mode of the technology being reverse engineered and built into the craft or model of the craft I am viewing. It is a stealth technology. The level of the technology would bring the current understanding of stealth technology to the point of the craft. One moment. being unseen when desired question does it have anti-gravity capabilities as well This technology is existing in the advanced craft, craft that became grounded, but is not a technology being used 
one moment is not a technology being applied to this model. Is it using light spectrums for camouflage for stealth? The technology is one of combining consciousness with the craft and so that desired For instance, the desire for the craft to go unseen on radar would come into effect. Is this craft capable of transferring the dimensions based on its consciousness attachments? The consciousness of those who would pilot this craft is not to a level of exceeding dimensions. And so neither the consciousness of the pilots nor the consciousness of the designers of the craft nor the craft itself would be able to achieve this. How much more work on the craft would you say is still required for it to be operational? The craft in the current time frame of 2019 is fully operational. The craft in the time frame of my viewing this craft, 1998-1999, has three years before test Lights begin. So that's about 20 years construction. Now three years to operations. The technology discovered. The technology attempting to be understood through the process of reverse engineering is approximately 22 years in length of time. Devising the full model of the craft is being accomplished
within this same 22 year time frame. The construction of the craft to reach the point of test flights is another additional three years. <clears throat> I am asking what my connection is. Why this craft is being brought to our attention. Can you see or get a sense for a particular purpose of that craft? Secret space programs. Can you get a sense of any other craft or is this the main, the main craft? I could, but it's not what is being shown to me. Can you get a sense for why this is the main craft you're being shown for a particular reason? I am able to glean through the location and the time frame. Las Vegas, 1998, 1999, that this is associated with the apex point of my awakening process, which was the death of my great aunt, my first teacher. Were there any survivors of the crash? Yes, there are. Are they still alive at this time? These beings were intercepted. by their own and not by us and are still living. Yes. So we only obtained the craft and the, the pilots and beings are off planet safe. It is so. Okay. One of these beings is coming in. One of these beings is associated with my being shown this craft. We have taken technology from and applied Are you familiar with this type of being? I am. It is. And 
insectoid. type being. It is mantis-like in structure. It is white. fine boned even for its own race highly refined i have not seen this race this species of this race previously in conscious awareness Are they in contact with any other humans here? Contact with humans is a purpose for their being. In the vicinity of our local space, Are you making that connection with this being now for a communication? That would be nice. Keep asking questions and we'll see. Does it have a particular message? It wishes to convey. It wishes to convey my participation in events unfolding through the years mentioned. 1998, 1999. Relative to its own race, relative to the advancement of certain among us as the earth human Are these humans connected particularly with this species? The species has interest in those among us. Specifically, 
engaged in specifically engaged in dissecting is the word I have been questioning dissecting the human genome Are these beans? I am having difficulty with the concept. I will tell you in my own words. I'm being taken into the DNA structure into certain genome into certain component parts into potential connections within them to other certain parts and making connections that allow for what these beings see as a healing and what we would see as an alteration or advancement in the current human construct that was well beyond my ability to word there are certain among us who these beings connect with for the potential for the connections to be made. It is what they do. It is their work. It is what interests them. So are these beings scientists? One moment. Scientist is not quite the correct concept. Creator beings, yes. Architects and designers, yes. Explorers, yes. Curious, yes. There's a particular curiosity I am trying to see more clearly. I'm trying to feel experiment, experimentation. Do they want humans to do co-creation with them? The 
experiment is with the free will of those here. Yes. So did their experiment start in 1998? Or have they been here for longer? Much longer. Much longer. Is there a particular kind of human they could be more specific on that they wish to work with? concept within the question is not quite in alignment with their view. Their connection is with those who are in alignment with their own curiosity in alignment with their own interests. I have been connected with through this alignment in curiosity and interest, as are others being connected with. Same purpose. These beings are among the over observers of this world they have observed and interacted through various One moment. Through various changes in the form of the dominant species existing here. So are they involved in creating into the hybrid programs? These beings oversee many of what you are conceptualizing as the hybrid programs. Have your questions come to an end? You and my expertise. <laughs> Do they have a particular message they would like to convey down to how they are observations are going in these programs? To arrive at this,
I would have to shift into a fractal frequency of that which I'm currently connecting with. The one I am currently connecting with is beyond such an idea. and has no message on this matter. Would this being like to continue contact in the future for further questions? Yes. has this desire does it have a particular name or ID that we could use to identify I am not able to connect with a name Can I give you a particular symbol or something that we could use for a future contact to contact it specifically? Yes. It is in full. A portion of the sound. I have been able to connect with visually the small letter O and the small letter L. O, L. This will suffice. Okay. Do these beings, creator beings, have their own particular dimension? Could it give the dimension it's in? <clears throat> We are disconnecting. And I'm back. <laughs> I don't really want to open my eyes yet, but, um, that was a lot. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't expecting that one at all. Yeah, no, neither was I. That was, that was a big one. I'm expecting the FBI kicking my door in any second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It went, it went beyond what I could ask it there. I mean, right up past. Yeah. What, what, and that's, when, that's why I asked for a future one. Yeah. And when that happens, you can complete. Right. You, you know, like if you sort of force push the questions, my connection's not as clear anyway. Yeah. Um, so once your curiosity is exhausted, yeah, go ahead and, you know, wrap it up. You can even ask if I feel complete in that yeah. or anything further I wish to ask this entity or if there's any deeper connection I wish to uh, achieve um, or something along this line. And that will check if we're both, you know, together on 
a completion point. It doesn't mean another energy won't come in or something else might begin to present. That often begins happening with me. And so, yeah, you just sort of let, let the flow go where it does. Mm. Well, that's, that's gave us a, a, a being or beings to, to contact later for, for further, where you can formulate proper questions and know what we're going to say, then contact it specifically. <laughs> we a list of good questions. <laughs> that was great. When you asked for the name, it was funny because I, I kept, the more I couldn't quite get it, but I could, I was getting what I felt was a fraction of it and it sounded like mole. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this isn't it isn't quite right this is just a portion or a fraction and then you ask the right question then I saw it yeah literally it looks yeah. like a little O in an L <laughs> and then <laughs> it's O L yeah O L that's good yeah. I'm always cautious about asking names I know at certain levels asking a name is a pointless thing but for us to, to identify <laughs> we need something to identify <laughs> Just have it for ourselves. Yeah, the identifier is always for ourselves, and so never fear going in for an identifier. And I, I'll do my best to get it. So sometimes I just get it, and then other times it's a concept I'm, I'm, I'm getting, but I can't quite capture all the way. <laughs> so it, you know, can take some time. I've yes. had, I had heard some things about insect toys. I've got some information about insect toys, but not white ones. That's the first. It was very it's, pretty. It's interesting, yeah. It was very pretty, and its movements are, are, are very pretty, and I could feel my eyes over here on the side of my head. <laughs> 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 and yeah. Um, and it was white, and there's with this particular shade of sort of a hot pink um, that that comes through almost like a, something so tiny, not, not, not like a vein, not like a capillary. It would be the next layer in toward fineness. You know what I mean? It's like the really fine gossamer strings of, of silk. <laughs> yeah. Of pink that was in there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah mostly as we, as we would see them white. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just real spindly. I mean, yeah, finer than fine limbs, like not quite like hair. I mean, it would be a little bit different, <laughs> but they're very, very, very fine. Yeah, yeah interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. That was good. Yeah. That was a lot in there. <laughs> that was a lot in there. Do you, do you, do you remember all of it? Yeah, you, you feel fully conscious all the way through that. You can cognize everything that gets said through you. No loss of awareness or nothing like that? No, because mostly, mostly I'm up front doing the talking. Mm. So I, was, I keep trying to go inside there to switch locales. You know? Mm -hmm. Me go into and be it, it go into and be me, sort of, you know. That, that, that may come next. Uh, I think with more contacts with the same one, that, that, may, that may come. I think the more I do this and the more the questions come without pause, without gap, the, more, the easier it will be for me to slide in there. Yeah. Yeah, but that's sort of part of that. Yeah, this is part of the process. Yeah. It's yeah. easy to get the questions. Once you know what, what you're kind of dealing with, who they kind of are, it's easy to get the questions rattled at them. It's just kind of find out what, what you're dealing with at first. Well, once you get the gist of it, I suppose the little group can come together with some questions. <coughs> I'm sure the people have some good questions in the group. I'll well, good question for that one. Yeah. yeah. I was you, you went in some different directions than what I was going. Um, so I was really looking into the geometry of the craft and getting into it, but you asked me something else. So I had to let go of that <laughs> to get over to what you were asking. Yeah, that was interesting. That that hadn't happened quite like that before. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave that craft. I mean, the geometry of it was interesting to me somehow, some way. Sort of wanted to go into why I was interested in that. A conscious craft as well. That's so what they've got to take. Who was showing it to me? <laughs> mm. 
we'll be back. <laughs> it's real, what will be inter really interesting as we keep doing uh, uh, these practice sessions is seeing, you know, each time so far something new, the connection is new and different each time. Yeah, there hasn't been a duplicate. Interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, each session is quite different. I thought you got the, is it the Yal? Yeah, Yal, is it Yal Yal? Yeah, Yal. So a couple of times you got those ones. Yeah. Um, well, Istan is not the Yal Yal, um, but uh, the Yal Yal helped Istan connect with me. Um, right. You know, that energy was there at the same time of that. But no, I haven't gotten someone from the Yayal or the Yayal specifically other than that time. Every now and again, the energy will pop through in the middle of the big thing that's happening. But yeah, unless somebody like connects with them, then they just go right on by and whatever, you know, is being drawn comes in. <laughs> Man, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask that. How how did you experience that from your end? No, it was good. It was curious how how that how it all led about. I was just trying to get get the questions in as the information come up. I'm trying to see what it was showing you where that led to. I'm just trying to put the questions in to try and thread it in to see what where it was coming from, where it was leading to. I just tried my best. You did very well. It did all right. I got some put the information in there, but. Once it got up to all those kind of levels up about it was talking about, it went beyond what I could ask. Like, well, <clears throat> beyond what I could really think to ask it properly. So, what, the, what, their, what their interest is, what what their um, reason for connecting is, you know, what with the genome, with the the body, with uh, cre creations, working with uh, potentialities, probabilities, possibilities. You know, uh, you know, everything is a, that comes into being comes in from the connection of one thing with another thing. You know, mm -hmm. chocolate with milk. Ooh, we got chocolate milk. What, <laughs> you know, what, will, what will happen? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, uh, blue with red. Oh, we have purple. <laughs> you know, it, it creates this other thing, and their interest is is sort of like that. They're they're seeing these potentialities uh, or creations that are have never been brought into being before. Uh, I, I was trying to get see if, if, if there's a human with a particular trait that, that, that particularly interests them where it was going to go. So I'm trying to narrow down what kind of human, what kind of trait that these kind of particular humans they like, they were interested in was and see what the trait was. But. Well, the trait would, would, would be the, the alignment so that's like similar genetics. So if you are someone also interested in, you know, uh, creating what's never been created before, or you know, if you have so a, it? <laughs> in, in the body, you know, uh, the the templates that we experience, create that consciousness experiences creations through, uh, uh, you know, that the, those interests would be in alignment with their interests. You know, so it's it's the alignment. Yeah, they wanted me to express that they work with free will and yeah. not outside of free will. Um, so it was good you asked that question because I couldn't quite find the... Like the concept will be there, but I can't tell where to begin saying what. I uh, like that start point, yeah. And so, yeah, um, it's like there's so much in there. Where do I begin? Putting the idea through at yeah that so that but they yeah they wanted me that was there in the very next thing that it's like you felt it the very next thing you asked was, <laughs> oh good good he did <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to be a natural um, but Ra has prepared me to this you know that which uh, you went through during yeah. the preparation stages of me learning what this even was that must have been help for her. <laughs> 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 it's no, it might, it's no easy this, this side of the table. <laughs> you're, you're trying to keep it going. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Do you want to take a dive? I, I'll guide you. you. You don't have to guide on. You don't have to dive on your own. I'll guide you. I've never done it before. I've never even tried. 
to, to go into a state like that. So, yeah, I'll give it a try. If I get anything I don't know, who knows? No, you just, well, the part that you're not altogether familiar with is answering always with a yes. Answer always with a yes. And then you will begin bringing through the information. Um, answering with a yes is opening. Answering with a no is a closure. Well, um, the better you get at leaving the, the no out of anything. Nope, can't get it, you know. Um, so that's just evidencing that you have a closure and we have to work on then opening that closure, you know, for a trickle of information to come in. If you always answer with a yes. So if I ask you, what are you seeing? And you say, I am seeing, I am seeing, you know, you just, you create the opening and then it's there. I just kind of, ah, I'll get you, I'll get you. Yeah, or it might be that more than seeing your feeling. And so you just go into what it feels like. You know, it feels like a rocking motion, you know. It, it feels like an infinity loop. It feels like it's circular, it, you know. <laughs> it always, you know, what's happening there will always feel like something. You just have to bring your awareness into it. So when you guys say, okay, I'm going in, what, what's your procedure for going in? You say, I'm going in. What, what, what kind of thing are you doing? You're doing that. You just... Uh, just bring yourself to awareness of your body. Just, just bring yourself into just awareness, really. Just letting it go from there. Just, uh, just kind of let, just let go, really. Just that, that, that's what that's the kind of things you guys are doing. There's a variety of ways to do it, and there are a variety of ways that I do do it. Uh, one of which would be to, yeah, just feel my, the outline of my physical structure to. Uh, let go of the outside edges of myself. Let that become very permeable. Just sort of begin expanding out into the space and I'm in. So that's the most whole body way to go in. Me just doing that took those few seconds for me to get there. And I was there much more fully than I was when I began this channel. <laughs> um, what happened this time was I was sort of locked in my awareness center. And when that happens, it's, it's like I dive not into a point, but in through a point. Uh -huh. Yeah. And sort of there'll be this empty space in the middle. You know, uh, it's, we shouldn't go into me describing this because I don't want to have you do <laughs> other than what naturally happens there with you right here. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, just close your eyes and you're in. You're, you're no longer in the environment all around you. You are now in the environment within you. Feel your head. Relax your head. Was relaxing your head a tangible sensation for you? More buzzing and pulsing. Can you feel the top? Relax your head. Tingling sensations coming down okay, the side so and the back. Before we get there, I want you to feel yourself relax your head. If you can't quite feel that, I want you to intentionally tense up every muscle in your face and head. And then relax it. And feel yourself relax your face and head. 
Could you feel yourself relax your head? Yes. Yes. Okay. Feel your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Can you feel yourself relax your shoulders? Yes. Okay. Tense your shoulders. And as you relax your shoulders, feel yourself relax every muscle in your shoulders. Relax your arms and hands. Relax your neck. Relax the chest. Relax the navel. Relax the hips. Relax the thighs. The knees. The calves and shins. And feet. What is foremost in your awareness? I'm tingling all over. Tingling through the whole body. Feel the tingling through the whole body. Is there any color to the tingling? I'm getting a reddish color. Look into the reddish color. Is there information? Happy or something happy, I think. <laughs> Something's happy. Feel the energy of happy. And follow that line. Follow the energy stream. Feel where it's taking you. What are you aware of? Pulsing. Bouncing. Pul pulsing. So pulsing. Yeah. Feel the pulsing. Let the pulsing form into a visual picture. What is the picture of? First instinct, if you sit in it too long, it will end. I'm trying to ask you to see, I'm trying to... Don't try to see. Open something. Be aware of what it is. 
Are you still feeling the pulsing? Yeah, pulsing and a lot of heat. I'm almost starting to sweat. <laughs> Uh, my head's pulsing. Where did it take you? Where did the pulsing take you? Are you still in your whole body? Is the heat through the whole body? Yeah. Still in the body, but I just feel pulsing buzzing and heat. I got happy, something was hard. Take a deep breath, deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time, deep breath in. Deep breath out. With the eyes closed, look straight ahead. Look at the back of your closed eyelids. And now look as though you were looking down at the end of the street. If nothing begins presenting in your awareness, repeat this. Bring your gaze in and look at the back of your closed eyelids. Feel what that feels like. Feel your eyes. Do what they do to look at something very close. And then look as though you're looking way off at the distance, way off towards something down there at the end of the street. And feel how your eyes restructure to see something further away. What are you seeing? First thing in your awareness. There's a, <clears throat> there's a red yellowish coming in through just a kind of haze. Okay, look through the haze. Go into the haze. Make your way through the haze. What do you begin seeing? First thing in your awareness. It doesn't change from that, it stays. Bring your gaze back and look at the back of your closed eyelids. What are you seeing? Little black dot appeared in the center. Just going down, actually down. Keep looking at the black dot. What's happening? I went down towards down to the bottom. It was gone. Take a deep breath in. 
deep breath out. One more time, deep breath in. Deep breath out. What are you seeing? Are you seeing movement? I'm more just getting the sensations, just the energy sensations. Heat sensations. Trying to see if I can move. Okay, let's come at this from another direction because you can't quite get out beyond not seeing. <laughs> there is as much presenting, if not a whole lot more, in front of your closed eyes as there is in front of your open eyes. And we just need to acclimate seeing it. So feel your body head to toe, your whole body. Are you feeling your whole body? Yeah. I want you to feel the outside edge of yourself. Feel the outline of your body as though you were a chalk outline. There's much more energy in both my big toes. That's, that's increased. I want you to feel your body as a chalk outline. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Just that very outside edge of yourself. And now relax there. Get real permeable. Let go of the outside edge of yourself and begin expanding out into the space around you. Let the space around you permeate in as you permeate out. What are you feeling? First thing in your awareness. They're still pulsing, buzzing sensations. Where? It's my forehead inside of the head. And still inside my... your body. Let's go back and feel yourself like a chalk outline. Feel your whole body head to toe, your whole body as a single unit. And then feel for the outside edge of this unit, just the outside edge, as though you were nothing but a chalk outline. What are you feeling? It's the, the sensations I have are so strong. I was trying to get away from that. It's uh, very... I'm just trying to get out of that one. The sensations are kind of quite um, heavy, almost. Quite, quite difficult to... Be aware of the space around your body. Feel out into that space. What are you feeling?
first thing in your awareness. Heat. Where are you feeling the heat? To the right of you? To the left of you? Behind you? Yeah, it's behind me mostly. Uh, around the front. Feel out into the space behind you. More and more into the space behind you. What are you feeling? First thing in your awareness. I'm trying to release at the back of the sensations. What's grabbing me now is my toes. <laughs> my two big toes are really going for it. I'm trying to get all of it. Okay, let's come back. And when you're ready, open the eyes. Oh, so that's a great night. So just, I, I can't, I can't really sit. There's, there's so much sensation going up through my body there. I, I could, I could, I'm trying to pop out of it. <laughs> Man, that's my toes were really going. No, yeah. roasting the man, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a part of this process, and and that's normal, and that's a part of extra information and energy coming into our system as we're going out. Um, the difficulty. you'll be facing is that um well one let me say this when we talk about going inside ourselves we're not talking about going inside of the physical construct we're talking about going into our own consciousness mm -hmm. okay and when we go into our own consciousness in that consciousness is our awareness, our perception, our energy system, our physical body, all of that is in there. But we're not able to quite get past the physical body. And when you're going in, you're going into this small space inside your physical body. Mm -hmm. I tried a variety of methods to get you to go out past the body, but you didn't want to let go of it. The sensations increased when I when I tried what you were saying. The, the sensations. The, body. the sensations are not the body. Oh, all right, okay. Well, <laughs> so I'm. Okay. You go into the sensations themselves. You will break out into another space. But what you're doing is you're isolating them in your body, uh. and you want them to be there so much. And I understand this. You want to feel them so much that you're not willing to put them down for a minute to find out something really important. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's going to take some practice. So just to practice. That is that those very sensations are fundamental to the body. They don't live in the body. They're fundamental to the body. They're much larger than the body. And those sensations will guide you into other bodies. <laughs> into other states of consciousness, into other life forms, into much more than James. And um, that's what we're going to need to do to open a channel. Mm. You I'll get there once I, once I learn how to, how to feel that properly. Once I'm used to it, how to feel it, I, I should be able to maneuver out. Once I'm used to it, it's just to say how it increased. Now, there's not, there's not much to, to it. 
when you're not so heavily focused in the body, you can let it go. Oh. Like if I say, James, let go of the sensation of your physical body and feel outer space. Can you do it? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Did all of a sudden anything feel different? I know for an instant it did, even if you put back your physical body right after that. That's why I'm always saying first thing in your awareness. Uh, try to imagine space and be in it. You will still be experiencing it through your current constructs, but you'll be experiencing it. <laughs> through your current construct and not your construct. You won't be confusing it with your construct. Cold is not who you are, but you can experience cold through your construct. Yeah. Okay, the two are not identical. If I say, Feel yourself eating an ice cream cone. Can you do it? Yeah. <laughs> Automatically, right? Automatically. Yeah. yeah, the ice cream cone is not you, but you can experience yours that through your construct. Uh -huh. you see the difference? Yeah. This is the part that's going to be challenging for you because you don't like to distinguish. Uh -huh. You like to amalgamate. And that's going to be hard to see through. It's going to be hard to feel through. It's going to uh, be hard to bring in anything outside that amalgamation. Um, and so, yeah, we need to begin distinguishing James from not James. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good ones. <laughs> cold is not James. James is James. Cold is cold. And it, you can let go of James immediately to feel cold. So you're just kind of switching it. Switching it. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You put down one and let another thing be there. Yes. Not in your body, just there. <laughs> so I'm trying to think, okay, James, and then just put that into just the energy that one of you to. I'm just an energy at that point. So if I split it that way. If I say right now, James, smell a flower. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. What flower did you choose to smell? I think it was a, a, a rose a little. Uh -huh. I, think it was, I think it was a rose one I got immediately uh -huh. there. Uh-huh. And, and now, don't say I think. You, you can say it. I just say it's a rose. It smells, it smells like a rose. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, if I say James. <laughs> <laughs> Hear yourself sounding the drum. Can you do it? Yeah. Immediately, right? The sound of the drum is not James. It's not taking place anywhere inside the body. It's taking place where? Inside where? The consciousness. Your awareness, yes. The awareness. Uh -huh. It's right there in your awareness. And it's a very different sound than if you were physically sounding it, right? There's a, there's a difference between the, the sound. Yeah, there's no reverberation on that, the sound. Although there could be if you let yourself go that far. And even if you did, it would still be slightly different. It, it would be more fine. You know, it wouldn't be as loud. It wouldn't be as reverberating. 
you know, but still there. And the more you give yourself your attention to um, the experience in its more subtle form, as such as we're doing right now, uh, the better you get at it. So that the next time I say, feel your body, you feel your whole body as a singularity, you can just do that. It's always there. Of course you can do it. When I say now let go of the body and just feel the outside edge of yourself as though you were a chalk outline only. There should be, yeah, an, like an openness or an expanse or lightness created on the inside of yourself and now you're just feeling this outline. <laughs> the trouble I'm having is that the, that is so strong. Trying to, trying to go out from that, it just keeps sticking me there the the, the pressure there is, and that's, is unbelievable i don't know what they are i'll try and come out of that way of thinking so i'm not trying to expand out i'm not trying to let go of all that it's just it's so strong i'm just trying you're to trying shift to it see. you're trying to see you're putting all your attention into that space and trying to see you need to let go of that and just go around yeah. you have no james you have no awareness center anymore. It's gone. We just erased it. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you have no more awareness center. We're erasing your awareness center. What are you feeling? What changed? I'm just trying to, to get all that energy and sensation just to be the one. I'm just going to do that in the body thing. The more you try, the more you'll never get out. <laughs> That's a nightmare. Okay. This, this is a Yoda kind of a thing. Yeah. No try, do. No try, do. That's what you're doing. You're trying so hard. That's why you're feeling this pressure here. No try, do. You didn't have to try to eat the ice cream cone. You just immediately did it. In the same way, feel your whole body. Let go of what you need to in order to feel the whole body evenly, equally as a singularity. Feel the whole body as a balloon. Feel the difference in this. Feel the whole body as an ocean. Feel it change. Feel the whole body as a tree. Feel the change. Feel the whole body as the night sky. Feel the change. Don't try, do. What changed? Almost an remote view over there, so it works quite almost. It's like an remote. Uh, a bigger sensation, a little vision, <laughs> a little vision in the ground. That was great. Okay. Now it, let that convince you to let go of here and the way you are more normally doing things. Mm. 
Let them get bigger. Let them become more than what they are or have been in your experience. Even if you have to pretend that you're doing it. I'm going to say a series of words. And I want these words to present to you in somewhat of a picture form. Are you ready? Yeah. Ice cream cone. Okay. What kind of ice cream do you have on your cone? It's a double cone with vanilla on that, so it's quite... A plus. Rock. Where are you and what kind of rock are you seeing? Uh, Grey rock. Few rocks. Uh, could be a desert, I don't know. It's just grey rocks. Quite big. Pointed. Are these rock one. mountains or? No, it's a cluster. It's a I could, I don't know. <laughs> it's shaped like a mountain, there's a whole bunch of them. Looks like rocks. Okay. Green. What are you seeing? And what shade of green is it? It's a dark green, it's almost grass. I get white lines to the right hand side, yeah. I got, almost got a pitch, <laughs> like a pitch I got there. Pumpkin. I got the Halloween pumpkin face. Hello. White with lights, it's a stripey pillow I got. Stripey. Where is this pillow? There's a bed, there's a bed there. White duvet, but the pillow is uh, greyish blue stripes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where is this pillow? What's it resting upon? The ground, a sofa, a bed? Where is this pillow? It's on the bed. It's on, the, it's on a double bed with a white duvet. It's on a double bed. And where is this bed? It's in the room. The room has beige walls. I see big mirrors there. Closet, what was closet and mirror doors? Mm -hmm. Whose room is this? Does it belong to a man or a woman? I get female and it's a women's feel to it. Mm -hmm. Female. How old is this female? Middle, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Key in on her age. How old is this female? Gives me middle age, so that could be 50, 50 something, towards that range. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What does she do, this female? <laughs> Is that you as a nurse or something? Say it again. Is that a nurse? A nurse. You as a nurse. Okay. You connected immediately with this pillow on this bed in this room of this woman. Who is she to you? You came out, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still there, to be honest, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I can go straight in that way. Yeah, you will, you will get the connection, you know, you, you'll just go deeper and deeper in. You have to not resist the process. You have to not try. You have to open and let it in. Open and let it in. Yeah, I noticed it was a pull, then into the duvet, then it was a bed, then the walls, then the mirrors came in from the back to the side, then it was a wardrobe of mirrors, <laughs> then it was a woman. <laughs> yeah, it's just given a section, so it did. Mm-hmm. Picture will just keep filling in more and more. So I'm similar to the I was just practicing to be a bit of remote viewing this morning, trying to do that and trying not to uh, guess and just like that. I was actually practicing that earlier. Uh, I was doing the the thing with Stephen Greer, Dr. Greer. He was doing one on the remote viewing his house and stuff like that. It's the same procedure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I got his dogs. <laughs> I, I got... This is this is important because this is not a remote viewing procedure. This is a procedure of letting go of your current point to arrive at another point. So what is the bedroom? What was that? That is just I don't know. That is just what. So I just going to a different but. You, you went immediately there. When I said pillow, you went immediately there. You could see the pillow, you could see the bed, you could see the room. You started to see the occupant of the room. And if you keep going in, you will see the connection and why you are being connected to this point. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. And you just keep going in and keep going in. Keep finding the connections. And yes, you get better and better at letting go of the physical construct here. So now when you're feeling the energy, when you're feeling the vibrations, when you're feeling the waves, you are not necessarily only feeling them inside the physical construct. You're experiencing those waves themselves through your construct. But this is a very different experience than feeling them locked inside of it. I can feel how that works because once you start distracting your mind like that, you start to come out of the body. I can see I can see I'm trying to say it. You can see how that works. You start to go, go, and you're, you're going to pop. <laughs> you're going to come off. And yeah, the body yeah. kind of goes and that comes in. You're going to just let go of, you're going to let go of the death grip of here. Your body is still going to be here. So it's the, here is not let go of all the way ever until you're out of this body. But um, uh, you're going to let go of the death grip on here. <laughs> As soon as you let go of the death grip, you'll see, oh, it's still there. <laughs> I really don't have to carry my own luggage when I'm on the train. Yeah. <laughs> I can sit down, the train's going to bring it with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so that's what that's all about. Yeah. We tend to have this death grip on the human body. Yeah. And we just let it, let, let go of the death grip and you'll see, oh, wow, it's still there, but Gee, now it feels a lot different. Yeah, yeah it feels a lot more relaxed. <laughs> feels a lot more spacious. It feels a lot more permeable. You know, a lot more space here, a lot more possibility here. And now we begin feeling other things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Through the construct. Yeah. The whole construct, that means through the awareness, through the energy system and physical body, through the whole construct. And this is much bigger. Uh, 
much wider. The physical body floats inside of the awareness. You know the symbol for the sun? Yeah, the sun, yeah. yeah. Point dot in the middle. Well, we want to be that circle with the point dot in the middle. It floats in the middle. 